When you look at the public record of how sort of the institutions of mass surveillance occurred in the United States, they occurred under a veil of secrecy. And when officials were challenged uh, by them, even under oath, even on camera, uh, they lied about them. And this is something important. If we sort of rewind to that post-2013 moment, uh, there were uh, stories published in, in uh, 2006 revealing warrantless wiretapping more, uh, James Bamford in 2012. And when you look at uh, sort of statements in front of Congress, uh, they looked a lot like this between Representative Hank Johnson uh, and former director of uh, the, or, sorry, uh, former director Keith Alexander of the NSA. Does the NSA routinely intercept American citizens' emails? No. Does the NSA intercept Americans' cell phone conversations? No. Google searches? No. Text messages? No. Amazon.com orders? No. Bank records? No. Does the NSA collect any type of data at all on millions or hundreds of millions of Americans? No, sir. It does not. Not wittingly. Uh, there are cases where they could in inadvertently perhaps uh, collect, but not, not wittingly. So this, this is sort of the challenge. Can we stop policies? Can we arrest them? Can we have a voice in them? Can we have a vote on them if they're intentionally and wittingly concealed from us? Talk about how does the government, uh, you know, by all uh, indications, if you look at Gallup or Pew or other surveys, trust and confidence in government to either be effective or to do the right thing. These are at at or near historic lows. How does government win back the trust? Because again, you know, and I'm going to ask the libertarian question in a second, but most of us here are libertarians, not anarchists, and the anarchist is crying in the background there. But, um, uh, but how does government gain back the trust and the confidence of the American people? Because we saw this in the 70s with the church commission hearings uh, and a general hollowing out of belief in government. And, you know, we want a government that is smaller than it is perhaps, but is effective and is legitimate. How does government win back the people's trust? Accountability. I mean, the whole idea behind the divide and, and the simple language of a private citizen and a public official is that we know everything about them and they know nothing about us uh, because they are invested with powers and privileges that we don't have. They have the ability to sort of direct the future of society. And as a result, it is incumbent upon them to assume a level of responsibility and accountability to the public for the exercise and abuse of those authorities that simply does not exist today. And that's the problem. They know more about us than they ever have in the history of the United States, and some would argue in any society that has uh, sort of existed before, at the same time that thanks to aggressive expansions of the state secrecy uh, authorities and use of classification and so on and so forth, and even simple management of the press where, you know, they, they play leaking games and uh, they don't give comment on this, that, or the other, or more directly aggressive things like we just saw with the director of national intelligence, uh, who's the most senior intelligence official in the United States. Uh, they're excusing themselves from accountability to us at the same time they're trying to exert greater power over us. And that, I think, leads to an inevitable result over time, whether through good intentions or bad, uh, that the public is no longer partner to government, but merely subject to it.